What's going on guys? Welcome back to Fishing with Norby. Out here today, Lake Gunnersville in Alabama. I'm fishing for big bluegill and lots of bluegill. I'm gonna stock a pond near my house that has a ton of big bass in it, I hear. So I wanna make sure these fish have a ton of forage to eat on, a ton of bluegill, a ton of bait fish. So we're going out here today fishing with little jigs and worms and we're gonna catch some fish. Let's go. Decent gill. Went down on down to the second dock row here. He hit it while it was falling. That's a good sign. Oh man, they're smashing it here. What do we got? This one feels like a real good one. Oh yeah. There we go. That's a beautiful gill. Two in a row at this new dock post. Beautiful. Oh no. He got away. I missed. <laughs> I'm a rookie. I've seen a ton of fish on the screen right on the bottom here. So I'm dropping it straight to the bottom, lifting up just a little bit. And that's when they've been eating it. There's one. Yep. Another decent one. Another one. Man, I'm just loading up on them now. And another one. They are loaded down here, Scott. That's a fatty right there. That's what we're after, guys. Look at the size of that bluegill. That is a good pond stalker. Not only does it give the biggins a good source of food, but it's going to produce a lot of eggs this coming spring another one. Oh, it's a fighter yep pretty guy yep that's a pretty one we might get our limit today boys and girls there we go oh missed him so what I'm doing I'm casting it out there to the edge of the stock it's in 10 foot I'm letting that bait fall all the way to the bottom and then I'm just slowly lifting it up and letting it pendulum back to me just a few inches at a time they're hitting it pretty good here's one decent decent bluegill oh yeah begging oh my goodness what do I have on here? I got something good. This is not a bluegill. Oh my goodness. Oh, there's a big catfish. He spit it out right there. He spit it out. That's sweet. I had a big catfish on, guys. Dang. Why'd he get off? Oh my gosh. Got something else good on, guys. Oh, what is it? It's another catfish. What the heck? I found the catfish. Oh, come on. Oh, my gosh. Yes. All right. Well, I'll stock the pond with a few catfish. That's funny. That's funny. Thanks for buying, buddy. Just out here boat flipping catfish with my little four foot ultralight. That's hilarious. <laughs> another one. Oh my gosh, I got another catfish, guys. This one's bigger. Oh, I need my net out. Oh, he just rolled up my line. He's not bigger. That's so funny, though. Oh my goodness. Another catfish. <laughs> this is hilarious. Wow. All right, so do I stay here and try to catch more catfish or do I go look for bluegill? That's my dilemma right now. Look how much this catfish just slimed up my line. That's so gross. Wow. Let's get another one. 
I'm just gonna stay here for a little bit. There's obviously fish here. I've caught a few bluegill and now the catfish have moved in. This is weird. There's one. What do we got? This feels like a bluegill. Fighter, whatever it is. Oh yeah, that's a stud bluegill. Look how round that fish is, guys. That is so big. That is what I'm talking about. Look at that. So you got catfish mixed in with giant bluegill. We will just stock the pond up today. That's what I'm saying. Yes. Let's go. Let's go. That's awesome. Came over here by some marina docks. Oh, there's one. Gonna fish around these a little bit. See if we can get some more bluegill for the pond. Stud bluegill. All right, so <laughs> I was gonna go around this break wall, but this break wall ends up being on a hump, so it's not 30 feet deep in front of this break wall like I'm used to. And motor was still running. I want to see if there's any bluegill bite, so I'd stop and fish it. Sure enough, got bit first cast. Let's see if there's some more right here. There we go. Oh my gosh, guys, I got something good. It was sitting under this dock. Oh, it's a drum. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this is nuts. I'm catching all sorts of weird fish today. Look at that. Big old drum. Not stocking my pond with a drum. I'm sorry. Sorry, viewers. Can't even grab this dude. That's pretty funny. Tossed in there, I got smoked. I thought it was a good bluegill. It's a big old drum. Gotta get the hook out of this guy. There. <laughs> That's funny. That's pretty funny. You never know what you're gonna catch. So far I've caught yellow bass, catfish, a few different kinds of bluegill. I've caught a bass. Just catching all sorts of stuff today. All right, I'm back out here at the pond. Just got off the lake. I have four catfish to put in the pond. Just gonna throw those in there. Look at that. Good channel cats. That'll be good. Somebody will like catching those. I'm not a huge catfish guy. And then uh, in the bucket, we got 45 bluegills. So I know my limit's 50. I did not quite catch my limit. There they are. Look at that. Here's a, uh, I think this was, this is one of the biggest ones right there. It's a red ear or they call them shell crackers down here. And here's another one of the biggest ones. Look at that giant. So gonna dump these in and uh, yeah, it's gonna be a lot of food for these bass to eat. I'm excited to uh, make this pond healthier. So let me know if you like these stocking type videos. I know some of you probably have ponds or ponds close by that you can make healthier. So uh, if you enjoy these videos, let me know. And that was it for the day. Had a blast. Caught all those fish on just little worms. So we'll catch you guys next time on Fishing with Norby.